hi guys today i'm going to show you how we can update the sequences of dialog uh, in our window in our window installer dialog user right so this is my already existing installer and here we can see that there are a lot of dialogs here available and this dialog i created by myself so uh, i can just uh, i mean show you how this has been configured right now so let it run first yes now test I, yes test so it will be here so this is our extraction visa uh, extraction of the uh, files now this is the install welcome uh, dialog which is uh, this one after this we have configured the license agreement which is this one so let's say i move next so this is license agreement after the license agreement we are taking destination folder so we go to the destination folder after this we have configured the customer information so we will go to customer information after that we have configured the application configuration so this is the no so after this we have configured the setup type and based on the setup type we can either move to this custom setup or whatever way so let's say if i just give to the complete one then i will be going to this application configuration dialog right after configuration dialog i will be moved to this ready to install dialog so this is the normal uh, flow which i have configured now the, according to this topic i will be showing you how i can align this control this dialog to be uh, shown after the customer uh, information or uh, maybe i can use a different option let me try what i'm saying so i will just click cancel and i will be just uh, again try to test it let me just verify how many features are available to be installed so as of now we have only one feature uh, let me just close this one because i can refer a great thing which i have already done all right so i just go to this dialog where i have uh, i did more than one dialog so where is that let me just give me a minute I'm just finding out the repeated things right now. Seems like yeah, this one, so this and this, right? And these things as visible. Alright, so come here. A folder. This one and this one will be deleted. I have closed, right? Yes. We'll paste those versions yes done now opening this one because in this installer i have already added new dialogues so referring this one will be a good idea to give you a good understanding about the same thing right so let it to open first then i will start it's opening okay so let me just build it first okay now let me just show you how it works so the file extraction all flows whatever flow i am saying is same right this is a new one here new and then here if i go to the custom ones and let me check how many features are available here by which way i can just give you okay so there is only one feature let's say uh, i am any so let's say i need to say like uh, so let's say uh, i would like to configure my uh, so you can see that uh, let me just show you again what i'm saying so in my dialog wizard 
we have already created one blank test dialog which is this one and I have also created an exterior new dialog which is this one so let's say I need to configure the sequencing of uh, these two so I let's say as of now what happens like uh, whenever we just uh, go through this wizard and we show and we just try to install then we get the customer information after that we get the setup type and after the setup type we get this application configuration and then this our uh, wizard which is a blank test and then we have a what I would like to say that uh, if I click on this uh, if I click on uh, uh, this next then I will be shown this dialog which is my bag and if I click on the bag then uh, I should be shown this dialog and after click on this next button of this I should be navigated to this uh, uh, new ready to install right then. so for this I will be updating this uh, uh, I will be updating the sequencing of the control so I have already told you that uh, let's say I have a strategy in my notepad like the let's say we have a dialog A dialog B dialog C and dialog D right dialog A's next button is navigating to B dialog B's next button is referring to C dialog C's navig uh, next button is referring to D right now Dialog D's back button is referring to C, Dialog C's back button is referring to B, and Dialog B's back button is referring to A. Now let's say assume that uh, we need to place the B here, and we need to cut this C from there to here, right? How will you do? So ultimately, you will be changing the back and forth of the C also be back and forth of B right so I will be doing it right so what I will do I will just say like uh, after the blank I should be navigating to the ready to install right so this is the next button I will be saying ready to install from back perspective I will be saying it should navigate to the interior one Interior, right so it's done now come to this interior I will be say back should let me forward to this application configuration right and next should forward to the blender right now one more thing from application where we get navigated so this is from next we get navigated to the blank test here I will be just changing it to navigate to this interior new right so this way I have updated the things now let me just compile it I am just gonna build this so I have already built this I will just test it so my expectation is that after the application configuration I will be getting uh, interior new and after interior new I will be getting the blank test right so let's see what happens because I have changed the sequencing right now complete see the interior now it's it's the so now let's say Mm, okay so let's say uh, I would like to initiate or I would like to say that uh, okay let me just come to the point first okay next 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 complete and next 
so let's say uh, i would like to embed a condition like uh, if the name of the user in this dialog is uh, does not contain any kind of any letter with any if this name of the user does not contain letter z that means this will not let the next student to go to the new dialog right so how can i write the condition for writing this condition i need to just go to the definition of this application confirmation configuration dialog and here i need to go to the next button in the behavior and in the behavior after going to the next button i will be writing a condition to navigate to this new dialog right so what i will do i will just close it okay uh, when i go into this dialog here is my dialog for the dialog after going configuration here behavior in the next student i can see that there is a condition one i need to change this condition so how can i change it i will be just going to the interface of this so that i can know which property is being used for that input so that i can validate the value of the property and uh, this is the control and the property is configuration hmm, but already so going to this going to this button and say hmm, i will say that okay so so let me open this here i will say that like this this mm. so maybe there will could be some function i don't know what the his so I'm just leaving it right now. What I can do is that I can check whether the value uh, which was given to that uh, is numerical or what. So how can I test is that? Okay, I can say like uh, the username which was entered should not match to this word which is Lena right lala so i say that lala should not be your name right or i can say sel uh, say that username right so this value should not be there i have embedded the condition uh, i think something is going wrong i don't know that this is what I was expecting. I think something is still going on. So what I will do is that hmm. okay. So ultimately this one did it work? Okay. So what will be the value? maybe i need to use this way okay so if the user writes the select username only in that case he will not be able to navigate to the next dialog because i have applied the condition for navigation so i will be just compiling it right Now checking this thing. Next. Now there is a next button, and I will navigate back. If I change it to.
select the username right next back so now as you can see that uh, uh, whenever we apply we have to apply any condition on the uh, event or sequencing then let's say in a, we can take this example like uh, in the application configuration on the next button click uh, if my condition says that whatever if the user enters the text like uh, select uh, username or select whatever you select username then he should be uh, directed to this uh, new interview he should be added to the to install and if this is not the case then it should be directed to the install new right so this is my condition and just apply the condition so this says that if the text entered by the user is select username then after the application configuration new dialog will be ready to install if the text entered by the user is not select username only in that case the navigation will go to this interior new dialog right so let's uh, check it whether it works or not i am just copying the text right i'm testing it next 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 so here let's say this is my code or value so in that case this is not be equal to the select username right so that means i will be navigated to the interior new dialog correct i got but if i just type the username like this way then i will be navigated to the ready to install dialog which is happening actually so this is the way to apply the conditions on the sequencing right uh, let me know if there is any recommendation for the same thing so as of now just one recommendation keep path variable simple so that's done thank you guys